Hello Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Someone's taking a little bit of a rest time too today, but they're doing nothing but thinking about you. I feel like this person is kind of reviewing all the pain that they caused you here in a third party situation. Yeah, they're realizing they are a fool. This person realizes they were a fool. I'm just feeling like they know they chose the wrong person, okay? I'm seeing them, too, wanting to turn their back on whoever they chose over you, but whoever they chose is kind of clinging on to them here with this bracket. And they know that they could hold the world in the palm of their hands if they chose you and came towards you. This could also be somebody making plans here planning strategically planning um a trip uh, uh travel they i feel like this person may need to travel towards you okay um they could live a distance i feel like they're kind of um they're feeling like an idiot though i will say they're feeling like an idiot yeah i feel like they gave to the wrong person i feel like they held on um to the wrong person here for too long being standing in the middle of a decision to make this person wants to choose a new path though they want to go on a new journey look yeah they want change collective this person wants to come back around to you their ultimate wish fulfillment here they want change um this person could have been like investing money time energy into someone else while they kept you sitting here empty-handed thinking that you maybe um, didn't have enough to bring to the table. I kind of get the sense that they, you know, they thought that this person that they were giving to had more than you. You're actually wish fulfillment for this person. They know with you, like I said, they could hold the palm of uh, the world in the palm of their hands. You could even be getting some kind of, um, like your wish come true here with the wheel of fortune this was their destiny and this is someone coming back it's almost like they're being flung back around okay almost like a boomerang effect um yeah their finances could have changed drastically though i feel like they've been su maybe supporting someone else this person could even need some financial help here they come collective they're gonna lay it on thick Okay, they're coming towards this earth angel here, the one that broke your heart, put you in a third party, betrayed you, sacrificed you, and just let you sit here for what could have been maybe even a couple of years um, with no answers, no clarity, no nothing. They just absolutely ignored you, the connection and the situation. Yeah, they're coming back around. <laughs> they're coming back around to an earth angel here. I feel like this person is going to be all kinds of watery, right? They're going to be, I feel like, love bombing. Yeah, see, look, cause it, it, here's the thing. Your wish fulfillment for this person because now you're the one with all the money. They thought that you weren't ever going to have enough. You're the only one sitting here with a little patch on your blanket. So they turn their nose up at you, um, thought you weren't worthy. Somehow they just thought you weren't enough. And they gave to someone else, and boy, did they make a big mistake, okay? They know that. I feel like this person is in love with you. I don't know, though. I feel like they've got stars in their eyes here, honestly, because you're out here on a major glow-up. Um, Earth Angel Energy, you're a master manifester. That's what this is. Um you could be manifesting a new soulmate connection here, too. You could be a boss, business owner, right? You've grown something for yourself. You put in the effort into you, and you've become very successful. And this person is just like, they're kind of, I feel like they, they feel a bit starstruck here without the star card out here um, because your glow up is that bright, okay? Your, your, look, you twinkle here with all of this money. Um, yeah. I feel like I saw the higher font on the bottom of the deck. I feel like the divine is asking this person, have you learned your lesson yet? Have you learned? 
Um, yeah, this person's on their way to you. I feel like they're watching you. I feel like they're tallying up your finances, trying to calculate in their head um, how, how, just how far you're going to go, like how abundant you're going to be in the future. I feel like this person, um, they could be learning something about whatever it is that, um, you're getting messages about your intuition, your divinity here, because I'm feeling divine feminine energy all the way off of this, okay? They're watching you move forward, having a victory here. Um, and there's something about you that really turns them on, okay? I saw the, um, the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I'm just feeling like you really turn them on. Lover's card, yeah, look, they made, the, they made the wrong decision here, collective. I feel like in watching you, they're learning about this connection as well. Uh, this could totally be a twin flame soulmate connection. But I feel like this person knows they made the wrong decision. They're, they're kind of, whatever you're doing, I feel like whatever you're posting maybe on social media, or they're seeing your glow up somehow, Okay. They're seeing it, and they've been, uh, the more they hang back and not talk to you, the more intimidated they are by this energy. I feel like this person is wiped out. I feel like this, this connection literally is wiping them out. Um, they're feeling very fatigued. They could be, like, having some bad health here. Uh, I feel like uh, they just can't. They just can't shake this connection, okay? And it's wearing them down. It really is. Um, especially being away from you. They may be seeing that you could be getting somebody new here entering into the picture as well. That could be something that they're seeing. They're seeing your glow up. They're, they're calculating or trying to calculate like your finances. Um, they know that your wish fulfillment, you're their destiny here. This, this is a twin flame soulmate connection, I feel. But they may be watching you as you meet new people. And you're out here being beautiful. Then there's a lot of talk about you here, collective. Um, this person could have gotten committed, married um, to somebody else, right? They've been investing in someone else. They know they made the wrong choice. It could have been years that they kept their back turned towards you. Um... And now they're, so maybe they're hearing all this gossip, whatever gossip they're hearing about. Um, I feel like it's got them, man, this person cannot sleep. It's really, this is wearing them down. It is. This connection is really wearing on them because they just can't forget about you. They can't stop stressing over you. They're having a lot of anxiety. This person can't sleep. That could be a big part of it. They're very fatigued is really the feeling that I'm getting. And they know they can't carry this burden forever. They know they've waited too long already to come forward. This person feels like a fool. They really screwed up here. And you're moving forward very, very quickly. You could be a Cancer, um, Virgo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries maybe, Gemini. Your person could be um, a, a Virgo, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, um, yeah, this is coming to an end. You're moving forward. This is coming to an end. This person does want to transform the situation with you, though. Um, they realize, though, that you feel like you were played, manipulated, and betrayed. Look at this. How do they get you past this to happiness, right? They're going to have to talk about all of this. I feel like they know that you know this person just came in, used you. They weren't serious. They thought that you um, didn't have enough to offer. They played you. They manipulated you. They backstabbed and betrayed you. There's been a lot of talk about you. For this person to get you and them to calmer waters, they're going to have to explain all of it. All of it. They're going to have to give you the, the full truth, and that's what they don't want to confront. 
They don't want to confront all the crappy ways that they treated you here. But it's literally the only way that they can they can try to get you back. And it's at that at this point, it's still a big risk because they don't know if they can come back from the things that they did. I mean, this person did pretty much everything they could. Magician to ruin this connection. You feel used. You feel, this person could have really. Um, I feel like they damaged your trust, but I feel like you also felt they made you feel like you weren't enough. They made you feel like they only wanted one thing, and that's all that you were good for. This person made you feel completely um, ignored and. They betrayed you, they slandered your name, they've dragged your reputation through the mud, or I feel like maybe they they put the blame on you here. They put you in a third party, this person used you and left. And then I feel like all the blame went on you. It's like they, they treated you like a dog and then they threw you to the dogs. That's what this is. How do they come back from this? They know they've got to confront this. They know they've got to drop these burdens. They know what they want, too. They want their Empress in the Minor Arcana. They want their Divine Feminine. And you're out here. All it's going to take is, I mean, you're single, right? You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten, right? If there's one pentacle missing, and you've got everything you want. You're living a wish-fulfilled life now. Very abundant, very stable. You're comfortable, man. You really don't need anything. That one pinnacle you don't have stands for the right offer from the right person. And they know, they know they were too slow to come in with this offer, but th this offer, they were supposed to come towards you here. This would have been their ten of pinnacles. This would have made um, generational wealth. They could have been building this thing with you, you know? This could have been a commitment, a happy one, a loving, emotionally fulfilling commitment here with an empress in the minor arcana who's having a victory, an earth angel, a divine feminine. But this person, man, did they mistreat you. I mean, this person totally dogged you out and threw you to the wolves, okay? That's what they did. Oh, yeah. And I feel like now they don't know how to come back in. How do they come back from all of all that they did? They know they've got to talk to you about it. They don't really want to, okay? But they know they have to if they want a chance at this. Man, this person feels like an idiot. All right, so, yeah, I feel like this is your energy. They don't know if you're going to take them back or not. They don't know how angry you are. They don't know how you feel about them. They don't know if you even have any feelings for them left at all. You gave this person your love, and they betrayed you for it. The sword that the Queen of Swords holds in her hand, that's the sword that they put in your back. You had to pull it out yourself, bleed out, and heal on your own. This person didn't even, they showed you no consideration in this whatsoever no respect and it's almost like they used you and they tossed you aside like garbage and i feel like you took the blame for it in in the background okay people continued to drag your reputation and your name through the mud and you still i feel like you're still in this energy like you want the truth i feel like now maybe that's all you want Honestly, you're happy just being on your own. You're moving forward, having your own victory. High vibing, happy. Very happy here. You're, you're in a good place right now. You may not want to get back together with this person after all that's been done. Um, but, you know, I feel like you, you are still welcoming, because you're holding out your hand here, you're still welcoming the truth. You want an explanation of why you deserve to have all of this done to you. That's what you want. You want a show of respect and consideration. That's it. 
And if this person can't give you that, they don't deserve a chance. Because what else do you have then? If they want a relationship with you, it's got, it need, there needs to be respect and consideration first. I'm telling you, man. So this person has no idea how you're going to react. Okay? Right now you're in a place of peace. Um, I, I feel like you have new love coming towards you. Um, and I feel like the new love that comes towards you could be the one that you commitment, but commit to, sorry, because you're ready for a commitment. You're ready for some, you're ready to be loved the right way. And I feel like you, you have always been this blessing, a blessing that, I mean, basically they spit in the cup and drop kicked it to a curb. And then let people trample all over it. That's what was basically done here. You're shining out here. You're on a major glow up. And I feel like you're doing something in the public eye as well. Okay? So you could have your own platform out here. But right now, you're in a place of peace. You don't have somebody messing with your head anymore. You don't, you're, you don't have to worry about things like getting your heart broken. You can focus on you, take good care of yourself, do your healing, work on your abundance, go about your day, and be happy. You know, I feel like you're in a happy space. <laughs> you're in a happy space um, just doing you. And I feel like you want to try to put the pain behind you. You know, you're healing here. And you're, you could be a healer, an empath, someone very spiritual with your own platform or whatever you're doing online. So, like, you may be posting things. I feel like there's a lot of gossip about you, too. Um, this person keeps, you know, they keep hearing what it is that they're missing. You know, but they're, it's fear that's holding this person back from coming towards you because they've just done so much to wreck you. For real. You know, now everything they did to you, every, look at this, everything they did to you is coming back on them. Uh, it's reaching the point where this kind of feels like Dark Knight of the Soul a little bit. Yeah, the things that they did to you um, and, and the fact that they took too long to come in to make it right, I feel like that kind of sealed their doom in this. They're out in the cold, losing money, losing everything. Their life is kind of falling apart. And, but look, I feel like they're still with somebody else. They haven't left anybody else yet. The one that they don't want, yeah, I don't think they've left that person yet. I feel like they want to see if they have a chance with you first. <laughs> Does this person know what they're doing? Like, you know, yeah. I feel like they're, they're upside down. They're stuck in things, but they sure know who you are. And they can see what they're missing out on. They're missing out on a star, an empress, a, uh, a earth angel energy. Yeah, this person's angry. You know, um, you could be dealing with a, an Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like they want to take some action. I feel like there's nothing but kind of like fighting and chaos behind the scenes. I feel like this person wants to fly in quickly, but they don't have any kind of excuse. There's no excuses for what was done to you, none. That's why you're still waiting for an excuse. You're waiting for a reason. There aren't any. There aren't any. Yeah, they know they... Here's the thing. They want to come in and apologize for the lies, the sneaking around, the walking away from you. But honestly, Collective, I don't know if you can trust this person's apology. They are falling apart. They know what it is that they missed. With that, if they would have grabbed a hold of that one cup right there, that blessing and love, when the, it was handed to them, they could have had their ten of cups. They could have had this. So now this person is pouty. It's like uh, they're acting like a kid that didn't get their way. They're realizing here what they missed out on. 
how are they going to how are they going to apologize for this? Is, is this apology even going to be enough? I feel like this is all the stuff that they're thinking about. I feel like this person is snooping, stalking you. You know, I, I, I just, I think this person doesn't know if their apology is going to be enough, but they do want to, I feel like somebody's going to show up and talk to you. Um, they can't stop thinking about you here, but this is a tower moment. So this is something that you don't, you're not going to be expecting this person to come in. I feel right now you're, you're in a place of peace, focused on you, putting in that work, right, um, to keep building your financial stability. You're just really focused on you. And all of a sudden, I feel like this person flies in from nowhere, from out of the blue, um, possibly wanting to get emotional and give you this apology. I don't know. This is These are the things that they're thinking, right? Because I keep seeing this person um, stressing out over this. So they're thinking about just showing up at your door. To give you this apology that may not even make a big difference at this point. It's the only thing that they know how to do. Like, it's the, it's the only idea they've got. Because honestly, man... They treated you like a dog and threw you to the wolves. And now this person, there's no, ex they have no excuses, but yet they need to come in and apologize. Yeah, you're about to get this communication here, collective. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We've got heavy cancer out here. Um, Virgo. All right. You could be dealing with a, a Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo. Yeah, they're going to really have to fight to get you back. This person's going to really have to fight to get you back at this point. After breaking your heart so dang bad. After everything that's been done to you, they're going to really have to fight for this. And honestly, I don't think they have much fight left in them. They're exhausted. They could be in bad health. Um, this connection is just wearing on them, okay? But yeah, if they want this back, they're going to really have to fight. After everything that's been done, man. And I don't know if they have it in them. Give me one more for the collective. Yeah. But they know it is they know what they want here. They know what it is that they want. For sure. For sure. I'm feeling like North Node energy coming straight for what they want. They have to take this risk. They feel like they have to take this risk and come forward, okay? So the, expect this person to just kind of pop up on your doorstep um, with an apology, wanting to talk, wanting to apologize for not having any reason to do what they did to you, okay? Yeah, um, that's the feeling that I'm getting, guys. Let's see what they may want to say. Some reason I want this deck. All right. What does this person want to say to the collective? I couldn't go against my family to be with you. Yeah, they may have already been with somebody and they pulled you into a third party, used you, and left you and blamed you. Right? But they couldn't go against their family. I'm confused about what I should do about you, uh, about my feelings for you. Yeah, I, I, just reading it. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They don't, because they're going to keep feeling this for you. They are going to keep knowing that they missed out on their destiny. They're, uh, they're always going to, you're always going to be the one that got away. They don't know where to go with this. Like, they don't know what to do with their feelings. Um, I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. Um, I feel like you just weren't going to deal with their crap. 
you didn't chase after them or anything. You know what? They, hey, they made their own decisions, and I feel like you went and focused on you. Uh, that alone is a challenge for your person. Oh, yeah. The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. Time has brought me clarity about us. I made the wrong choices. Yes, they did. They know it. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. So many things remind me of you. I settled for second best because I don't deserve you. That's how they're feeling now, okay? I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. I wish things could be different. Yeah. Yeah, collected. This person knows. All of this is confirming this, okay? They did judge you, wrongfully judged you, okay? Um, and they settled for somebody else. I feel like they were already in that relationship when they put you in a third party and blamed you. Um, and now they realize they made the wrong choices here. This could be a long-distance connection or someone that needs to travel towards you, like I said. Um, they don't know what to do here. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's on their way, but they don't know if this apology is even going to be enough. They don't know if it's going to cut it, man. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not so sure it will either. I, I kind of get the sense that you guys are already happy on your own and you're moving on. But anyway, Collective, that's what I have for this quick check-in. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, I hope you're enjoying your sock monkey mug of tea, because I am. 